Oh yeah, I shit on myself in a white pinstripe <laughs> pinstripe pants in Japan during skanking to the beat. <laughs> no, maybe it was Florida. Yeah, that's where it was. Skanking to the beat, really. <laughs> skanking to the beat. I had on a white pinstripe, like cream colored uh pants, you know. And I was skanking so hard I just pooped. <laughs> Vigorous skanking, man. Yeah. Was it evident to, to your band? Well, I, I don't know, but I know it was evident to me. <laughs> and I couldn't stop. I couldn't stop because, you know, this like like the third song in. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. You did the whole, the whole set. Third song in, and we had like eight or nine more to go. <laughs> so what – okay. Let's talk through what's going through your mind when that happens – and then what's going through your mind about four songs from then when like you 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 know what's happening, but you there you have to keep going. You gotta keep going, man. You just gotta get it, you just gotta fit it in, fit it into the act. And at, at any if it's at, a little squishy down there, whatever, <laughs> motherfucker. You just got to keep just block it out. I'll take care of it when I'm done. At any point in time, did you want to say to the band? You guys vamp on whatever, you know, I, I need to go change. I got shorts in the back. Man, they don't give a shit. <laughs> Literally. Man, they don't give a shit. They just keep going. As a matter of fact, oh, here's another fucked up one. Somewhere in Wisconsin in a hot ass club, back when I was married to that bitch. Man, it was hot in there. And uh, yeah, my wife was there at the time, baby's mama. This is before mm-hmm. we had a baby. Mm-hmm. But I was playing, we were playing, and I passed out on the stage. And the band kept playing. <laughs> I passed out from heat exhaustion. The band kept playing. My my wife at the time was like, can't you see this motherfucker's passed out? Why don't y'all stop, you know, and take a break? Motherfuckers didn't stop. Wow. They, the security so, came and pulled me out of there. How long were you out? Ah. Uh, I don't know, probably like maybe maybe 10 minutes or whatever. Maybe Jesus. part of the, the 10 minutes was a part of me um, going back uh, and, and, and going backstage in the dress room and recuperating. Oh, yeah. my God, here's another one. <laughs> so after my dad passed away, mm-hmm. my dad passed away and uh, I went to his funeral and I went out there on the boat with family on the boat. I opened up the urn, I tossed it, and I got took off all my clothes on the boat in front of everybody. And I said, I'm releasing my dad right here. So I threw my dad's ashes in the in the sea. About a quarter of my quarter of my dad's ashes blew on everybody else on the boat. Then I jumped into the sea with him. Let him go. Wow. Then at, underwater, I'm like, okay, goodbye, Dad. I'll see you. I'll see you later. See you in me or something like that. Got back on the boat, put my clothes on. Everybody stared at me like I'm a weirdo. I'm like, oh, well, they'll get it three months later. Now, the band was on tour. So they just did some Trulio Disgracious songs. That's Norwood's band. Trulio Disgracious right, right. type shit where they just jam for like 10, 12, 15 minutes long. So I went back on the road the next day. And that's where we joined up with Slightly Stupid. Mm. And a couple of days into it, man, I remember Wooster, Massachusetts, man. I had on this jail outfit, this black and white striped jail outfit that this inmate had gave me, he, he get out of jail, he got out of jail and he gave me his outfit because he thought it would be a little cool outfit. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. So I had this outfit on and had on a white, and had on a, a, a black top hat and we were playing Wooster, Massachusetts. And I remember I was drunk on Jägermeister because I was probably still having the blues over my dad, but I was just trying to sweep it under the rug. And man, I stood in the middle of the stage, I forget what song it was, but I stood there and I stopped singing, but the band kept playing, the song ended, and I slumped down right next to my theremin in front of everybody and I said, fuck all you white motherfuckers. Y'all can kiss my black ass. 
and the band was looking at me and slightly stupid manager was looking at me and I started to curse everybody out. Fuck y'all, fuck y'all. Man, they pulled me off the stage. Mm -hmm. And that was the end of the set. Wow. And that's when I was still grieving over my dad, but I didn't know it. Sure. You know, you're supposed to take out time for that shit. I didn't take out no time. 